What's going on YouTube? Modsville USA here uh, with another video and today we're going to be doing something uh, a little special here. A little special. Uh, we're going to be installing one of these Phantom Universal Mod Chips into our Model 1 Sega Saturn. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, go over everything that you need for both Model 1's and Model 2's. If you're doing a Model 1, just go ahead and uh, follow this guide exactly and Model 2's. Just a few little differences which I'll mention as we get to those. So uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and taken all the screws out of my Model 1. Um, so it's just boom, 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 boom. And this Model 1 here has two screws screwing in the power supply here, um, which I went ahead and also removed. There are versions of the Model 1 that do not but the earlier revisions do and these earlier revisions the power supply is secured up top in the shell so when I first open it look like that it's locked in up here I have to unscrew it to get it down and that is that okay now these Model 1's are slightly annoying because there's a lot of little boards hooked up to the top shell unlike later revisions so here is our mod chip on Model 1's we're going to be using the uh, 20 wire cable Model 2's you're going to be using the 21 wire cable so here's our phantom so you can see we've got essentially it's uh, one in one out and it'll go either way so it says right here MB 20 so that is for the model 1 20 pin ribbon cable so the ribbon cable will plug in here and then we get the 20 the shorter of the two plug it in this side and that plugs into the console now there's these little jumpers here boom 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 so if um, you're working on a model one like me we're gonna leave these alone if you've got a 20 wire or uh, yeah 20 uh, wire ribbon cable we don't need to worry about this if you're working on a model 2 you're gonna have the 21 wire and you're going to need to check your drive it should say let me move this around real quick it will say if yours is a JVC or a Sanyo right here along the edge just look for either JVC or Sanyo and that's what you got then all you gotta do let me get a uh, little fine pointer tool here so, so yeah, if you have a JVC, you're going to bridge these two pins right here. The middle one to the JVC side. If you have a Sanyo, you're going to bridge it from the middle to the Sanyo side. And that's it. That's the only difference there. Alright, so that's pretty much everything. And then all you gotta do is give it power. So you just choose one of these five volt sides, there are two, doesn't matter which one you choose, whatever one seems the most convenient. And then I suppose we're on to the trickiest part and that is figuring out where you're going to get five volts from. So there are many different types of power supplies this one is the top loadery one like this and what you're going to want to do 
I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this so I can show you better. What you're gonna wanna do is check to where the wires connect on your power supply. And most of these have done a nice job of labeling them for us. So as you can see, we got five bolts right here, this red wire. Second from the side. So what I'm going to do, solder wire right here to this pad. And that is gonna go to the five volts. If yours is unlabeled, because I have seen Sega Saturns that are unlabeled, what you're gonna wanna do is plug in your console and you will not have a top loader one like this so your power supply will be nice and secured and safe to just load up this thing I would not uh, want to power up just sitting like this unless I were to tape it just so it doesn't electrical tape it that is so it doesn't short out touching the metal right here um, but what you're gonna want to do is the cables will not be coming like this. It will be like connected like a Dreamcast. So you'll have some pins. You're just gonna take your multimeter, you're gonna plug in your console, you're gonna turn it on. And we are going to turn it to say 20 on this DC side here. And so you're just gonna touch it, touch the pin. So you're gonna put your ground in the ground side while it's on. And then you're just gonna go ahead and touch each pin while it's on until you get a five volt reading. Now I'm not gonna get a reading because it is not uh, powered on, but that is how you will find your five volts. You can poke around the board looking for five volts um, but that is how you find it alternatively you can probably find uh, a diagram for your specific motherboard and somebody knows where five volts is if you don't want to go the multi meter route but we are we locked out it's got it says five volts right there so we know what to solder to so I am going to um, solder a cable from here and probably route it around like that. I wanna go with a uh, 28 AWG 30. Probably isn't thick enough of a gauge. Okay, so we're gonna tin this a little bit here. Nice, fresh solder. <clears throat> Solder is fucking what, over 20 years old? I'm gonna want some fresh stuff here. Beautiful. As you can see, we have the 5 volts, this red cable, where we soldered directly underneath it. I'd recommend going underneath um, underneath the board, get a nice pin. I wouldn't go above. You don't want to melt plastic or anything. Okay, so that's that. Now, well, we got the iron out. We might as well tin the five volt pad here. Okay guys, so it turns out for these Model 1s, um, the chip gets oriented downward, so we're going to need to insulate all of this. Um, the important thing to pay attention to is it varies from the different models. Um, basically, I think all Model 1s, or pretty much all Model 1s, are going to be face down like this. So let me see how I can explain this. So here's the contacts for this ribbon cable. This is not making contact. There's a 
you can see the contacts but there's uh, plastic in between and on so you can get a good shot of that so as you can see the pins uh, for this mod chip are on the top you would think they would be on the bottom typically um, contacts are usually on the bottom but now these pins are going around and they're making contact on the top so this plugs in on the top yes so this will plug in like this and let's see for these yeah it's on the top for both the 21 and the 20 pin ribbons so for the model one or whatever we've got the writing for the chip here the ribbon cable is pretty much upside down the contacts are on the top for all of these just be wary of that so what we're going to do we've got this connected right here we're going to take our five volts give it a little bit of slack not too much slack but you know enough slack actually you know what we're going to solder it to where it's taunt because we're going to get slack when we flip it over yeah this should be a good length right here as long as we can connect it we are good to go this left-handed so crazy like that that's a good joint right there that ain't going nowhere and now what we're going to do now is insulate the chip. Since it's going upside down, we do not want anything shorting out. This is actually my first time installing one of these guys. And the Sega Saturn, I've, I've messed with some Saturns before dabbled with some Saturns and uh, the Saturns are a little uh, a little odd when it comes to the ribbon cable orientation they change from console to console and I've derped that out like connecting CD drives and all that a couple times so they connect in a very non intuitive way is good and insulated nothing's gonna get short out there and make sure on this connected too make sure you know which way the pins are going and this is working out for me Now I want to, I don't want this guy to just be floating around like this. I'm going to add a bit more electrical tape. Just to get it. Now if it were floating, it could be fine, 
but we don't want to roll that way. I'm just checking the ribbon uh, cables, making sure they're locked in. And they are indeed. Cool. I'm gonna put this top plate back on. Very nice. Now I'm not gonna screw anything in because we still gotta test it. We don't wanna screw it down and find out it's not working. So we got this Guardian Heroes burn disc in here. And my sensor is modded to always be on. So let's first plug it in and see if she spins. That she does, my dudes. That she does. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's hook up our capture card, turn it on, and uh, see what happens. All right. So I got my capture card hooked up. Let's check it out. Booting up. Looks good to me, gang. Hell yeah. Well, that's it. Um, yeah, make sure you leave a like on this if you found it helpful. I'll probably be doing a Model 2 soon. I got a buddy who uh, wants one of these put in to his US Model 2s. Um, so yeah, if that video exists, I'll have a link to that if you want to follow uh, specifically for a Model 2. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.